Army researchers installed about a ton of netting across four 107-foot towers and created a fully enclosed research facility that protects people, resources, and the environment and provides a safe space for testing unmanned aerial systems. This facility is really large. It's almost the size of two football fields. It took us approximately four months to construct this facility at a cost of about $60,000. The larger outdoor facility towers over a smaller one. Both facilities meet the Federal Aviation Administration's requirements for testing unmanned aerial systems in a controlled airspace environment. We started with a, a tethered concept, which is essentially a string. Uh, then we progressed to a small netted enclosure. And the small netted enclosure was really a, a, a big step for us. It performed very well, but it was small. It didn't allow for top-down looks. It didn't allow for a lot of flight distance. So a decision was made to try to provide a larger netted enclosure. According to his leadership, Bertram is the idea man behind the new facility. I was asked to provide a solution to a problem with respect to being able to fly. Netting seemed to be an appropriate idea. Then we had to find a vendor that would, was willing to work with our constraints or within our constraints. Bertram has pursued better ways to leverage theoretical ideas into workable applications. This facility is really enabling us to perform the research in autonomous drones uh, and to be able to rapidly do it in a safe manner as we really push out uh, to understand what the autonomous drones in the future battlefield mean for the soldier. The facility is available to all researchers who test unmanned aerial vehicles to include other services, universities, and industry. For ARL-TV, I'm Joyce Conant.